Hey y'all, today I'm collaborating with Morento. The Morento brand specializes in smart home devices and they sent me over one of their air purifiers to test and review with you guys. It has high efficiency filtration with dual sided air intake. It's also controlled through the smartphone app and smart voice control. It has real time display of the air quality index and more. It also covers up to 1,290 square feet, features a highly sensitive dust feature, and it has a portable design with a handle. Through the app, you can control the on and off switch, five different mode settings, a countdown setting to pick how long you want the purifier to run, and lastly, the setting feature, you can control the child lock, the light, and arrange a schedule for your purifier. Overall, I'm highly impressed by my new smart air purifier. If you would like to improve the air quality in your home, click the link down below. You will not be disappointed. Good morning, y'all. So I just finished a little workout. Um, it's been probably about a month, over a month since the last time I did a workout and I'm already like sore. But today is Monday and I pretty much have been sick since like last Thursday. So I'm still trying to get over my little cough and um, my, th my throat isn't sore anymore or squeaky or whatever. So that's a good thing. My nose is a bit runny. I'm still trying to drain all of that stuff out. But um, today I have an appointment today at 10. So I'm about to get in the shower and get ready for that. And I do have like some light cleaning that I need to do today. Somebody is supposed to be coming and starting on the fireplace hopefully either today or tomorrow. Um, I need to find somebody to start on the painting upstairs. It's just a very busy season for my sister. <laughs> the restaurant has just been really busy for her and she really hasn't had the chance to come up and do the painting. So if I had to hire somebody to do the painting, I'm not painting y'all, I suck at painting. Painting is not my thing. So I probably had to hire somebody to help me out with the painting in the kids room. 
Um, I did find a bed. I'm still, I think I found the one. I think I found the one. I think I found the one. I think I found the one, y'all. So, hopefully, I could get that ordered um, the first of the month. So, I'm excited about that. Um, I think the wait is probably a month. I'll be waiting to, to get it. But I did find a bed. And I think I'm going to go with the bed. Also, a few updates because I've been meaning to update you all on some things that I was going through about two weeks ago for the water bill. Remember I told you guys my water bill was like 600, almost $700. And it's a leak going on. We still haven't found the leak. Um, we checked the toilets. The last, like I don't, nobody knows. Like we cannot figure out the leak. And they replaced the meter. I'm hoping that that's the issue. Please be the issue. So they did replace the meter and they helped me out on the water bill so I don't have to pay that much money. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's all you. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's all the Lord, okay? So I don't have to pay that large water bill. I think the light is like behind me. It's, okay, okay. That's a little bit better. But I don't have to pay the large water bill. Also, um, the car situation. Remember I told you guys my car wouldn't start. Oh, there go my throat again. Hold on. <coughs> Remember I told y'all my car wouldn't start. So, we ended up needing a, a new starter. Travis actually sent the starter in the mail. And then I just went and got it put on. And then we also needed um, something else dealing with the starter. And then um, one of the tires was flat, so I get a new tire. And it was something else. Oh, the back window was broken, so we had to get that. That was about a $900 bill. Um, <laughs> but it's fixed. The car is fixed. I'm back on the road. That's all good. Um, what else? So with our things from Germany, we are still weighing on paperwork. It has been a lot like a lot a lot a lot a lot Travis actually did not get orders to here to the base here he is actually going to another duty station I won't put his business out there like that but he is going to another duty station so he'll just be back and forth he'll just be back and forth that's that's, that's all there is to it just be back and forth so um yeah that's something else that we've been dealing with um who knows when the other car will be here? Who knows when the furniture will be here? It has been a struggle. And I want to thank you guys for sending stuff off of my registry. Y'all don't know how much that really like helps me out, helps my family out, helps us out a lot. Because we have been without our stuff pretty much since May. So, it has been a lot. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. But we are... We are moving past it and we are being patient and we are working with what we already have. What else did I need to update you all on? I think that's it. And then like with the house situation, the realtor, um, the last, the sellers, like nobody, like the way they left this house, it's, it was just really, it was just, I don't even know the word to describe the first month of living here. It's better now because it's clean to my standards. Um, it's still some spaces that I feel like need a little bit more cleaning as in the garage, um, the fireplace and the back patio porch area. And um, that's about it that I feel like it need a little bit more extra cleaning, but Everything else is pretty much cleaned. If you've been here, you know that we've started like decorating a few things, but it's kind of hard because I'm trying not to overspend buying new stuff when I have stuff in Germany that's coming. But the thing is, when is it coming? We don't know when it's coming. So that's hard on me. That's hard on the kids. We're living out of suitcases. Um, so I'm still on air mattress. So yeah, it's it's just been it's been a lot, 
but we are making it we're moving past it i just wanted to update you guys give you guys a few new life updates on what's been going on i know i haven't updated you all in a minute i just tell y'all what's going on but i haven't been giving you guys any type of updates on the stuff that i explained so on the stuff that i mentioned so i just wanted to update y'all on a few things I don't think I answered the question, when is Travis supposed to come? We still don't know because it's, it's just a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. So we don't have any dates. We don't have anything. We don't know anything. We're still waiting on paperwork. And if you are familiar with the military, you know how paperwork works in the military. So who knows? We don't, we don't know. We don't know. Hopefully it's before Christmas. Doubt it's Thanksgiving, but hopefully it's Christmas. So, yeah. But um, we're making it. We are making it. And I think that's it. If there's any more things that you feel I didn't explain or I have an answer, just drop it down below. Because, y'all, I be trying to remember stuff and I really just, it just slips my mind or and I just really forget. Hopefully, we can have that fireplace situated this week so I can start in the living room. Um, I plan to add in some window treatments and we need a rug and a few more things. So yeah, hopefully we can start working on a living room situation. And then we'll probably be moving into just different little spaces, the kids' rooms for sure, and then my room eventually. So, but yeah, I have some laundry to get done today, light cleaning and that's it so I will be back a little bit later on <laughs> Thank you.
morning, family. It is bright and early. Today is Wednesday. We started the fireplace. Go me. We started the fireplace yesterday. I am so happy about how it looks. It's not even finished yet. And I'm in love, y'all. I'm in love. The vision is just coming to life. I love it. So on the next video, because it's coming back Friday to finish it, paint it, and do whatever else he has to do to it. And then we're also going to change the TV situation and hang the TV on the fireplace. So exciting. So once that is all done, like I said, that will be in the next vlog. I just started it in this vlog, but that'll be in the next vlog. But I hope y'all enjoyed that little update. I did go to TV. I did go to TJ Maxx um, Monday and grabbed a few things and I didn't get a chance to, I was supposed to show y'all what I got yesterday, but I didn't have enough time yesterday to show y'all. So yeah, so I'm showing today. Um, I ended up getting these air fryer liners and I also got some new stuff that was sent to me from my registry, Housewoman Registry, which is down below. If you would like to send us something, um, it's greatly appreciated. But I got some more stuff coming for that. So once everything comes, I will um, show y'all what I got. But yeah, I got some air fryer liners. I got this little plastic container. I plan to use this for my American sliced cheese in the refrigerator. I did go ahead and start doing it. He saw something out there about 10 minutes ago and he is just losing his mind. But I did go ahead and start organizing the refrigerator a little bit. Um, just a little bit. Let me see if you can see. It's a mess. It's not a mess, but it's like leftover things right here. But I got these containers from TJ Maxx. I would like to get some more when I went in there Monday. They, um, I didn't see the size. I didn't see this size. So I went ahead and got these little containers to store fruit. Easy access for the kids. I wanted to put them inside the drawer, but it just didn't fit. And then I got my avocados, and then I got apples, and I got the oranges. I also found two more of these wooden bins for the pantry because I've been looking online for them, and I just can't seem to find the exact ones that I get that I keep getting from TJ Maxx and Marshall. So I just have to keep an eye out for more. Every time I see them, I just have to grab them. But I got two more of those. Okay, so back to this stuff. Um, I got the cutest little outfit for Lauren. I do plan to take some fall pictures. I got a fall haul, wardrobe fall haul coming soon. So a few things are from that. I got a few things for Christmas. Uh, and then I had got her some socks because it seems like we can't find socks nowadays. And then a lot of her socks are ankle socks and it's starting to get cool outside. So I went and got her, found these little cute little socks. The only thing with these socks, they like thin as paper. So any little snag on them, it's, it puts a hole in them, but they're all right for now. Got this one, and then I got these socks. These are really cute too, and they're both like $5.99. This little outfit is for fall, like a little fall picture situation. It is so cute, look at the little skirt. Oh, it's so cute. And this was $20. This little outfit was $20 by Max Studio. And it comes with a headband, too. Hey, isn't this the cutest little outfit? Hey, isn't this the cutest little outfit? It's going to be for fall pictures and probably for Thanksgiving. But this is so cute. That is the cutest little outfit. Um, I also got some hangers. I know I told y'all about the hanger situation. Um... We don't have no hangers so travis jr asked me about hangers he said he hangers and i'm like i'm trying to wait till our stuff gets here 
But like I said earlier in the vlog, I don't know when that stuff is coming. So we just gonna have to buy a few things, suck it up and just start buying stuff. But um, yeah, I bought him some hangers. These are from the Brookstone line and it's just $10. Then I also got Landon some hangers too. I, I did see ones that I like for Lauren, so I didn't get her any. But these are for Landon, and these were $10 too. Um, also got Lauren these little boots. They're a size 13. I don't know. I was going to save them for Christmas, but I need to know if she can fit them in. So, yeah. But they are so cute. Too cute. And they were... I think ten dollars, twelve ninety nine, and they got like a little zipper on the side. They were so cute, so cute. Um, we got Kobe some um, new balls, and um, he loved these balls, y'all. He loved them. And then I just got some more Christmas Christmas items, but that's all I got from TJ Maxx. I also got a broom set, broom dustpan set. For inside and I think that's it y'all I think that is it I am I have to go and get some stuff for dinner not too much but I just need a few items for for dinner tonight and then probably for dinner tomorrow because we only have hump day so we still got Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and um, I need to go and get some more meat. I haven't bought meat in like two weeks probably. Yeah, I think it's been about two weeks since I purchased any meat. So the kids are requesting shrimp alfredo tonight. So, yeah. But I appreciate you all for being here. I will probably start the next vlog um, today. <laughs> So you see me looking like this in the next, that's why. But I thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for supporting my channel. Hope I answered the questions that you guys were wondering. And um, I cannot wait to, <laughs> I can't wait to do a reveal of the fireplace. So stay tuned for that. And um, I will see y'all back on the next video.